What's up guys, this is Matt and today I'm going to be bringing you a real versus fake Air Jordan 12 Gamma Blue video. Now, the pair on my left is the fake pair and the pair on the right, the 13 and a half, the half got kind of smudged off, is the authentic pair. Now, these are very high quality reps. This is the best top of the line AAA best reps out there currently. This is, you have to pay close attention because these are close details, but if you could tell this pair, you could tell any pair. So first, I'm going to start off by showing you how there's really no difference in the boxes. Once again, the 13 and a half is the authentic pair, and the size 12 is the replica. Now that replica tag is more or less exactly like the authentic one. Now here is actually a pair of fake playoff 12s, which is pretty obvious. You know, there should be a dash there and it shouldn't be so bold. If you are if you get a pair of 12s that looks like this, they're obviously fake. So let's get into the actual shoes. Now first we're going to start off with the backs of the shoes. So again, the size 12 is on the left, the fake pair is right here. Now on the fake pair, take a look at that 23 on the back. Notice how there's a lot of room for the inside of the 3. Like look how small these things that go into the 3 are. Whereas on the authentic pair, they're much thicker and they cover the entire, ins the entire inside of the three. Now I'm gonna put the authentic pair on the left. Once again, that is the authentic, that is the replica. Look at the difference on the thickness of the two and the three. Replica, authentic. Another thing on the replica, the jump man, it's gonna be very hard to see but he does have a hair coming out of his head and he does have kind of like a freddy krueger claw thing going right there whereas on the authentic there is no hair out of his head and no freddy krueger claw unauthorized authentic now let's see if i could get the hair on the other pair if you can see what i'm talking about that little tiny hair coming off of his head and the Freddy Krueger claw, then everything is perfect. It is hard to see though. Once again, unauthorized, authentic. Now, in terms of the side panels, this is the, this is gonna be the replica pair. And this is going to be the authentic pair. It's going to replica on the left, authentic on the right. Look at the size of this little side thing over here on the replica pair. And look at the size of it on an authentic pair. Now just because this is one size bigger doesn't mean it should be that big of a difference. Look, this is twice the size of this especially this one look how tiny this thing is this is super tiny this literally cuts into there with no room or look at it on the authentic look, look there's a whole gap over here about one centimeter gap right there from this to this where here there's no gap it just cuts right in same thing here just cuts right in no gap even on the other on the other uh authentic the right shoe on the authentic pair there's still a little gap over there on the replica no gaps another thing i like to mention is on the replica the texture on the midsole these bubbles really pop out so look look what noise it makes when you glide your finger across the replica pair on the authentic pair the bubbles are not pushed out as much, they're more flat, so this is the noise the authentic pair makes. 
Sounds like you're just gliding your finger across it, where here your fingernail gets stuck in the ridges. And it starts sounding like some uh, firecrackers. Here your fingernail doesn't get caught in the ridges. It's smooth. Replica. Authentic. Now, <clears throat> the other sides. Again, this is the authentic pair on the right. We're going to be looking at this jump man. Unauthentic left side. Now on the unauthentic pair, look at where the word jump man is placed. It almost touches that midsole. Whereas on an authentic pair, you could fit another word Jumpman under Jumpman. You have a big gap in between the Jumpman and the midsole. Whereas on the unauthentic pair, you have a very, very small gap here. Look, look at how the J is almost touching that midsole. Here, it doesn't even get close to the midsole. Now the next thing I'd like to talk about is the bottoms of the shoe. So here we have the replica, and let's put an authentic side by side so you can better see this. Authentic will be on the top. Now you could notice a slight color difference between the replica and the authentic, but it's not that big of a deal. Now the authentic shoe. Let me uh, let me let me get this so you guys can really see this because this is a pretty good flaw. Now if you could see that, you see how there's like lines, like it looks like somebody took a paintbrush with gloss and painted the bottoms of these shoes with a clear coat. And you can see the lines. It's hard to see on the camera, but you do see those lines. Now on the replica pair, there is just gloss. There isn't really these solid lines. And on the replica pair, if you just glide your fingernail across like this, the material gets scratched up. I'll show you here because it looks like the camera's focusing right in this area. Look at how scratched up it gets. Look at the scratches, how they're visible on the fake pair. Whereas on the authentic pair, you can scratch all you want, but it's not going to be visible. The scratches are not visible, and it's way more glossy, shiny, and more lines. Now the biggest flaw, in my opinion, is the size tag. <clears throat> this is how I authenticate my pairs. On the authentic pair, notice how, let me get a close up of this. <clears throat> Pretty hard with one hand, but it is manageable. The line below the LN3 touches the edge of the white before the lamination. Here's the edge of the white. You see how the black strip touches that edge? And then it laminate, it's laminated in on. The LN3 is right on the edge of this like kind of inflated piece and this, this on the side is just the glue. Whereas on a replica pair, The black line does not go all the way to the edge of that um, size tag. You see how there's a little gap between this and this? And the LN3 is right above it and it does not reach the edge. Replica. Authentic. Once again. Replica, authentic. In my opinion, that is the biggest flaw. That is a pretty easy way to tell. Another thing I'd like to mention is the paper inside the box, which I did not mention earlier, but this is the replica pair. Look how clearly you could see the print and how dark of a shade it is. Whereas on the authentic pair, 
barely, barely anything. Authentic replica. There's also a stamp on the authentic pair. And there's nothing on the replica pair. Okay. Another flaw we're gonna do is the color of the lacelets. Now on the authentic pair, now we need to uh, we need to get this pretty close to each other here. So this is the authentic pair. Now look at how glossy these two lace lacelets are. Whatever you want to call these two things. Look how bl how dark black and glossy they are. It almost feels like m like a metal kind of material. Whereas on the replica pair, it's kind of a matte black color. It's not really too glossy. It's not as as thick of a black as that is. Look how glossy it is on the authentic pair. And that's the replica pair. It's more matte than glossy. That's the side that's the best side by side I could get. Replica being on the top, authentic on the bottom. Look how much of a dark shade of black the authentic is. And yeah, I mean, as far as that goes, those are pretty much all the ways to tell on these recent uh, Gamma 12s. The, they are getting better with the fakes, but there are still ways to tell. The fake also did not come with those inside, uh, the stickers on the inside. Authentic does have the 13 and a half sticker, whereas the replica does not. Jumpman's on the insole, pretty much the same. No big difference there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I mean, I'll give you guys a side by side. Maybe you could notice something I, I didn't catch. Replica, authentic. Replica, authentic. Take care, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and do whatever else you feel is necessary. I will be posting more real versus fake videos and unboxing videos, so stay tuned for more. Take care.